Good morning to you. It's Thursday. We begin Mark chapter 15 today, the first um, five verses. Jesus before Pilate. Early in the morning, the chief priests with the elders and scribes and the whole council immediately held consultation. And binding Jesus, they led him away and delivered him to Pilate. Pilate questioned him, Are you the king of the Jews? And he answered him, It is as you say. The chief priests began to accuse him harshly. Then Pilate questioned him again, saying, Do you not answer? See how many charges they bring against you. But Jesus made no further answer. So Pilate was amazed. No doubt Pilate was amazed. He had never had a prisoner like this before. He had never encountered anyone like this before. No doubt all the others that were brought before him would um, raise up their arguments and their objections to the charges that were being laid against them. Jesus simply said nothing. He did give a direct answer when Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus says, It is as you say. But that was about all that Jesus said. He said nothing more. So Pilate was really uh, in a quandary. He didn't know what to do. We know, and we'll see in the further readings, um, that he was looking to release Jesus because he realized that the scribes and the Pharisees and the high priests had brought Jesus uh, to get rid of him. He understood quite well what was going on on the surface level. What he didn't understand was that he was an instrument in God's hands. All of these people were. This was all part of God's plan. Um, God uses us whether we serve him or whether we don't serve him. He can still use us. But you want to be on the side that you are serving God and he's using you for good, not for evil. Um, about Judas, who was also used by God, Jesus said it would have been better had he never been born. All of these scribes and Pharisees and all the ones who called for Jesus' blood one day will stand before him and give answer. Um, all of us will stand in judgment before him. But if we have been born again, if we trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, we don't have to worry about our judgment. Our judgment will be on our works. But if you are not born again, if you are not have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then the pending judgment is not going to be good for you. You still have time. Repent. Turn to him. He loves you. He went through all this suffering for you and for me. And that really just humbles me so much when I think about what Jesus suffered for us so that we could be saved. We are so in debt to him. We are so much in gratitude to him. And the only thing he wants from us is our heart, that we open our hearts and we love him with all our heart, soul, mind and strength, and that we love our neighbor as ourselves. So may he help us to do that today and always. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before you in the precious name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. As we consider your sufferings, Lord, we just say thank you, thank you, thank you, that you went that difficult road for us. We thank you, Lord, that you gave up your life so that we could have life, that you shed your blood so that our sins could be forgiven, our many, many sins. We repent of them, and we ask, Lord, that you would forgive us, cleanse us, wash us clean. Lord, make us strong. Help us to... Say no to temptation. Help us to resist the devil, knowing that he must flee from us. Help us to realize that in you we have victory, not only over sin, but over death. That we are more than conquerors. That we already have eternal life. We thank you for that. We thank you that you shed your blood for us. And we pray, Lord, for this day. We pray for our governments and all in authority. We live at a time when many have rejected you and walked away from your word and wholesalely turned your back upon their backs upon you. And Lord... It's caused so much confusion and, and there's so much mess in the world and we need you and we need your way. And we pray, Lord, for wisdom, for godly wisdom to come upon our leaders that they make, make good and right decisions in these times when so many people are finding life difficult and it's getting harder and harder every day. Lord, have mercy. We pray for your mercy over the Ukraine. We pray for an end to the war. We pray, Lord, for those who are living, suffering, um, in many different ways. We lift up the sick before you. We lift up the dying. We lift up the mourning. We lift up before you, Lord, those who are simply lost, who have not yet turned to you. We pray that today would be the day that many hearts would open to you. We pray, Lord, that you help us to be a light that shines wherever we are and that your love would flow in and through us. Help us, Lord, to just be good examples 
and to be able to bring the good news that you so loved the world, that you so loved the world that you gave your only Son, Heavenly Father, that whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. We pray that the truth of this message will touch the hearts of all. Help us today to be the best version of ourselves that we can possibly be. Lead us by the hand, guide us. And Lord, we now ask that you hear us as we join together, combining all of our prayers and the prayer that you have given to us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May you have a wonderful day. And God willing, I'll see you all tomorrow.